Welcome to your first video on Python. So in this Python series, we're going to cover a lot of different topics and we're just going to build upon them slowly so that everything builds kind of upon the last lesson. So in this first lesson, we're going to be talking about strings and we're going to be working primarily in Python 3. So quick thing to note is that my Kali interface might look a little bit different. I'm on my personal pen test machine here. The only reason I'm doing that is because when we get into the text editor, my text editor on the newer version of Kali would not let me edit my preferences very easily. So I went ahead and just went back to my machine that has an older text editor on it. So you can follow along completely step by step in your your Kali and you should be fine. I just wanted to make sure that the font size is good enough for the recording. So from here, let's go ahead and make a new directory. And I'm just going to call this directory Python. And then we're going to change directory into Python. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to gedit and I'm just going to call this first.py. This will be our first Python script and we're going to build on it. So the first thing we need to do is declare what it's called a shebang. So that is a hash bang like this. And we're just going to declare bin Python three here at the top. Now, what does this do? This allows us to know, or the Linux to know when we run this, say we were to run this like Python three, and then we just say first.py. If we run it like this, then Python interprets the hash here, which you're gonna learn in a little bit, as a comment. So all of this is commented out, we don't have to worry about it. But let's say we wanted to run this a different way. We wanted to say dot forward slash first.py then it would actually be interpreted here at the top. So Linux would go in here, it would read this, it would say, hey, this, I'm going to go ahead and look for bin Python 3. It's going to find Python 3 in bin because that's where it's stored. And then it's going to use that to execute Python or this Python script here. So we have two ways of running it. We could either run it Python 3 first.py or we can run it as you've seen it with some of our other scripts with the dot slash like this. So I always like to declare at the top, it's not necessary if you're just going to type in Python three, but I always like to do it. So I'm going to give you some headers here. So I'm just going to put a comment in and we're just going to say print string. And so the first thing we're going to do is print a string. Now in the very stereotypical lesson, the, the very first string that most people print is the hello world. So we're going to go ahead and just do that. So let's go ahead and print hello world. And we're going to do that by just typing in print. And then in parentheses with quotation, we're going to say hello world, something like this. OK. And that's it. So what we can do here is we can just save this. And we can go ahead and give this a go. So what we'll do is we'll say Python three and then we could say first and it'll auto tab out to first.py. And you can see now that it wrote out hello world. So if we go tab up twice and go back to our G edit, we could see here that it ignored printing out anything here with the comment. It didn't interpret this because this is a comment with the hash. And we just told it one instruction, which was to print hello world. And it did just that. So the nice thing about strings is we could use double quotes or we could use single quotes. So we could say, Sorry, hello world like this. And we can also use multi line strings. So I'm going to tab or hit enter twice here and we could say something along the lines of print. And what if we have like a long quote? We could say something like this string runs and then we could say multiple lines like this. And we just put that with triple quotations like this. And lastly, we can do a little bit of what is called concatenation. We could say something like print this string is, and then we'll want to put a space at the end here and end the quotation. Then we could put a plus sign in here and we could say something like awesome and end that parentheses. So with all of this, you're going to see that 
Okay, we can print hello world. It should print hello world, hello world. This string runs multiple lines and this string is awesome. And it should be space awesome here because we included the space. Now you're gonna notice even though we put line breaks in for us, no line breaks are going to be printed. We'll talk about that here in one second. So let's save this and let's just run it. So we're going to go ahead and run Python 3 first.py. And everything looks as anticipated, right? So I want to show you one thing. Let's tab up twice and let's put an ampersand at the end of this. Watch what this does. Now, we have access not only to our script here, but we can also run code as well. So as long as we save this, we can run the code and we don't have to keep exiting out back and forth. So let's say that we did want to put a line in between these two hello worlds. We've got this here. What we can do is we can print this. We can say something like a n like this, if I could type today. And we close this off. And you could put a little note next to it so you remember and just say new line. So when you have that backslash n, that prints out a new line. So let's save that and just take a look at that. And there you go, you have a new line put in there. So quick and easy way to add a line in or a line break. And yeah, so here, very simple, very simple lesson, right? All we're doing is just learning how to print things and we're dealing with strings. So even if you wanna go in and build upon this, you can add comments in for yourself to make this easier. So you can come in here and say double quotes, you could say single quotes, and then you can come in here and say triple quote for multi-line, right? And this way, you know kind of what everything is doing. Uh, this one you can say here, you could say, we can also concatenate. I don't know if you spelled that correctly, but I'm, I'm hoping I did. So that's really it for this lesson. Just wanted to cover the basics. So in the next lesson, we're gonna start talking about math and the math that Python can do. And again, we're just gonna to continue to build upon this. So I'll catch you over in the next lesson.